Hey guys, how's it going? Destry here. I wanted to make an update to the last video I made talking about uh, the ways to level up now that the level caps increased. I was actually wrong. I want to apologize for that. I forgot. Th those are valid, but there are, in my opinion, a bit faster ways that are a little easier. And that is to do the parallel quests from the end of DLC 16. That is the one where you fight the androids and then Yamcha. And if you ultimate finish that one, which if you have a good setup and you're pretty high level, won't take you very long at all. That can a couple minutes and then you can get roughly 130, 140,000 XP. And that is before you use any XP boosting gear like the Super Souls, the two that I showed a little bit ago. Uh, one of them triples it, one of them doubles it. That'll get added on to that so you can level up pretty quickly just doing that mission a couple of times. You're going to see here I bring Vegeta and Broly. There's no real reason for that. You can pick whoever you want. I use them because they have good ultimates for people not paying attention. By people, I mean robots or the uh, the AI, rather. I don't play this online, except for raids. And as for the skills I'm bringing, as again, you can bring whatever. I'm rocking Super Saiyan 3. Uh, just for the en energy management, I don't have to worry about my energy uh, like draining and me losing my my special form but you can use whatever awoken you want and most of the skills I'm using I'm using for the fact that they either do good damage or they're easy to hit with like warp command mail is easy to hit off of a knock away and you can also uh, charge it up if you're using a super saiyan type skill to teleport flash strike if you didn't know is very good off of a knockback it can it does increase damage and warp command mail you know teleport you to your opponent more often than not, it hits. Sometimes it gets a little screwy, but uh, that's fine. And then uh, the other ultimate skill I have just does good damage. So yeah, but you can rock whatever you want. You just want to make sure you get the ultimate finish here and try to stay at pretty high health. I think that does affect the points you get at the end. Um, but yeah, there ain't too much more I got to say about it. I will have more videos up soon with DLC 17 once that drops for me. And as you can see here, I'm going to show the end of this mission. The points I get are 137,000 something. And that is before the uh, XP boost kicks in. You see that? And that gives me a good check of points. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Like I said, sorry for uh, the incorrect advice in the last video, I guess. And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.